We're standing in your studio, and what's the name of this corner here? This is my, um, well, normally for my art, it's my encaustic corner, but it's my uh, mother-in-law, Granny's Corner, I call it. Um, up here on the top would be a lot of old bits and pieces that was in her house. Uh, Granny has uh, passed away, of course, um, in 2016, so I had a few bits and pieces up in there. Um, I had the clocks, uh, a gathering of clocks that I found around the house, all kind of different periods, I'd imagine, or the clocks that she had down through the years. And also I found two little rattlers, uh, which I love. Um, she had two boys, so I'm assuming there was one for each of them. But I'm not sure whether they were both got at the same time or whether she kind of... I hadn't found any other toys, really, only a little car maybe or a little wooden toy up there. I hadn't really found any other toys, so they were the only things that she must have kept or that she felt were precious or something. Can you show me the rattlers? Yeah, these are the, the rattlers and they're really cute. There's little beads, beads along the, the, the coloured beads and a nice little rattle to them, a little horse and a rocker. And that was your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law, so these belong to my uh, husband, yeah, Brilliant. and his brother, yeah, there's just the two of them. And they were the clocks she, she, in, her, in her home? Yeah, these were the clocks I gathered um, around the house. I remember this one in the later years, like when I um, <laughs> was introduced to the family, I remember having this one. All right, but these other ones um, are probably older ones that she had around. This looks like it could have been one that was in a, in the parlor or something like that. It was a kind of a more fancy one. And um, of course, the bigger the bigger clock. And, and this one here is a real, I don't know. I, this one here, I think is really nice. There's kind of two different hands on it. Now I'm not sure exactly what, what it's all about, but it's, it's a nice shape then as well. Square, which is different for the clocks normally round. Yeah, and do you ever remember years ago, at birth, in our, even in our own house, when you'd be looking for the time, you'd be told to look at a certain clock because one would be have the right time and the rest would be all wrong. Oh, well, that's right. I have a clock at home, actually, that is around 10 minutes fast. It's just to get everybody out on time, <laughs> <laughs> including myself. <laughs> so this is this is Granny's corner? Yeah, yeah. They're normally all up in there. I just keep them all up in there. It's like a little, I, I don't call it an altar, but, I, you know, I, it's all kind of little bits and stuff that, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I don't like throwing out stuff. So there's, you know, lamps and that. And there's a, a holy water fountain here as well. That was, um, that would have been her favourite, uh, Padre Pio. Yeah, so. And why do you surround yourself with these objects? <sighs> well, I just love old things. I, I, I think it's probably just, I, I think of the people gone by and them using it and more importantly, their hand on it. And, you know, that kind of a way. It was something belonged to somebody that, that I like to keep. As you can see, I'm a bit of a hoarder, but even in my art, I love kind of marks, you know, histories, you know, stuff that has gone before kind of thing. So, you know, to, to work with it. Yeah. And behind you, there's one final object. Oh, yeah. Eye. Yeah. This, this caught your eye. This is actually a crib uh, Lord and Mercy, my father made. He made it for me around in um, 2010, I think it was. Yeah. So I still have to put in my figurines yet in it, but it's a touch roof on it. He actually was uh, doing a little, building a little kind of outhouse kind of shed for himself and he was putting a thatched roof on it. And that was around the Christmas time then he decided, oh, sure, I'll attach a few cribs. So he did a crib for me. So I'll, I'll treasure this, yeah. So that'll be used this year in your yeah, house this Yeah, Christmas. and hopefully pass down through the generations as well that they'll, they'll keep it in, in honour of him. And what was your father's name? Patrick Keenan. Lovely. Said, Thanks a million for sharing those with me. Thank you. Da 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 da